this is this from this is going to sound familiar to you, right? Are you thinking the same thing I am? Uh, ex- yes, go ahead. So we had Jim Loke, former KDKA traffic guy, now doing great things and trying not to get hit by snow in Boston, right? Um, did you see the picture where he saw himself on the back of a taxi? No, because it, they were playing the news bits and the in the screen mm-hmm. in the taxi in Boston, and he was just like, "Hey, I know that guy," <laughs> um, but uh, he's doing great up there. But he talked about, and I can't remember the name of the app at the time, but it was one of those that grazes a little bit, like like that, oh, like that, the change in between, um, you know, uh, the you know, you know, the rounded up to the next dollar. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And it puts that into a, a savings account, and it's an app that you can go check in on and and play with the threshold and everything. This is a different one. This is a completely different one I'm seeing. According to TheVerge.com, it's called Digit you can check out. Um, and according to them, it's an automatic savings account that opens uh, to a, the public today uh, for U.S. accounts. Um, it lets you monitor your income, spending habits, and uh, will begin to, uh, 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 putting away a few dollars whenever it thinks you won't miss them. So this is more behavioral, not just like flat, I'm going to take, you know, round up to the next dollar and take that change out, it seems. Mm-hmm. Um the person writing this article, uh, Casey Newton over at The Verge, says he's been using it for a month now and painlessly managed to save $360 towards a trip he was planning to take over the summer. Um, it's the best thing that happened to my personal finances in some time. Um, so I guess, I don't know. So I guess it's a behavior-based kind of thing. Um, I'm curious about it. I, mean, I was curious about the other one, too. Uh, but uh, maybe this one will be a little more widespread, for instance. I'm interested to see how they play because the, the one thing that made me a l- little nervous with the Acorn thing is you had to Acorn, thank you. Granite, you had to granite access to your bank accounts. Like you had to provide your banks, you had to pr- provide your user ID and password for your bank. Mm-hmm. Which, which, not that uh, I don't know that that made, that made me nervous. Uh, I'd be interested to see is there a way that 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 won't happen. So how does this connect, I wonder? That I don't know. Yeah. And this is where, and I think it calls it out in this article, right? That the banks aren't doing this. And why? Why? Mm-hmm. The, the bank's making money if you keep money in your account. Well, they kind of make a big thing on <laughs> here about, yeah they, well, yeah, they make money if it's in your account, but they're saying about how the banks really kind of like, you know, kind of... Uh, if you're the poor tax, you know, overdrafts mm-hmm. and such, you know, so um, there's not really much incentive for the middle savings kind of, you know, pushing it towards that. So, uh, I mean, I, the, the closest things I see to something like this is, like, well, the PNC has the the wallet, virtual wallet, virtual wallet kind of thing. Mm-hmm. At least that helps manage it a little better. It it's seems. more, it's, but it's not a, yeah, it, it helps, it helps you. It, to me, it's the first step that they talk about in this, that it, it kind of monitors and looks at where you're spending and where it could pick out money that you wouldn't necessarily miss Mm -hmm. um but i don't see anyone taking that next step like it's not it's at least as far as i know i don't think virtual wallet recommends savings or automatically moves money around do you remember the acorn is it was acorn its own account acorn was its own account with acorn okay and this looks like it's doing something very similar digit is its own account and it says uh, you have to have your bank information handy. So I think you're doing precisely the same thing that Acorn did with Digit. So I don't know. I'm the- really surprised they're not doing a software as a service for the banks, right? So provide this as a service for the banks and make your money that way for them. Well, then, right? Because, I, I mean, any bank that would do this for you, I feel like it's a huge competitive advantage. And, and why not make it where, like, it, it's built in, banks can build it into, like, touch pay, right? Right. So if I right. use TouchPay, obviously it's going back to my bank. Mm-hmm. Partner with Apple, and I know Google's working on some. Some they have Google Wallet, and they're they're Samsung's trying to use Loop. Um, partner with them, so ev- just say every time you touch pay or you whatever NFC. Kind of is like they were always incentives whenever they were trying to get everybody to use dig- uh, uh, debit cards, right? Over checks. Take it, take it to that level, and and and. To your point, build it in as a as a software as a service, mm-hmm. but bind it with those types of capabilities. It gets people using a more secure payment method, and then also it, it's a, it's a differentiator. Be really tremendous to promote the chip and pin upgrades mm-hmm. that are coming this year, for instance. So, um, but uh, check that out. It's digit it. 
and it's uh, digit.co if you want to go check that out and uh, see if it's for you. So, But yeah, again, you're going to have to connect your bank. I don't think that's going to solve the problem you have with Acorn. Sorry. All right. I'm most curious in, in how sophisticated that, uh, you know, that thing can predict, you know, when you want to say it. Cause we were just looking, being in the app environment, we were looking at how strange, you know, the different willingness people are to spend, you know, money. Like we in stores and supermarkets and everything, they have it down that, you know, if you put this product at this height and at the register, you can always hear somebody spend an extra three or four dollars, you know, mm -hmm. on something they didn't need. <laughs> But, you know, you go to an app and as soon as that app is 99 cents, you know, it's such a huge barrier to everybody want to pay that, <laughs> that one dollar that they're I, probably, you know, leaving on the street somewhere I've, else. I've so. been really big on two dollar games lately that have been fantastic. Oh, yeah. 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 Aldo's <laughs> Adventure. And uh, what was the other one? Uh, Wrestle Jump was the other one I bought last week. Um, I actually did a review on Aldo's Adventure today on uh, insertcoinbegin.com if you want to check that out. Uh,